Hello, my beautiful Aquarius dragons. Welcome to your mid-March reading. So please know your charts, okay? So it can be for any of the dominant planets in your chart. There is a link to a short video in the description that you can, it talks about a website <clears throat> and a book that you can get if you wish to dive in. So I'm just uh, tired of feeling, feeling automated and saying who it's for. So I know for anybody who's new, I don't mean you any disrespect. It's just, it becomes so automated and I don't like that. So, um, because I want to, I want to just be me guys. So yeah. So let's go ahead and see. So for Aquarius, so for who's meant to hear this message, we have loyal heart, co-create and breathe. I feel like you may be with somebody uh, somebody's in your energy already who is loyal. You're working together, right? You're trying to fix your differences and I feel like you're just breathing and making it through. So this is obviously meant for someone. Now, loyal heart and co-create, this could also be not just a romantic partnership. It could be a business partnership. Okay. But it, there's that loyalty to one another. Okay. I like to pull that out because honestly, some people are single and not even interested in, um, in a relationship. It could be a friendship. Okay, it, it could be any relationship that you have, okay? But it says breathe. So there's something that you're sort of working out with them. And I really much see. So in your hearts, you're the same. But for some reason, there's something happening that seems very different um, with you two. So this is like your souls are the same, but you're, you're not the same on the outside. Something's sort of, um, <clears throat> something's needing to be worked on. And just breathe. Right, so it's it's a good energy for you guys. Let's see. Let's get a story from my beautiful Aquarius dragons. Let's go. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see. What does Aquarius mean to hear for March? Wow, they got messy. Oof. I'm hearing that, so first of all, right away we have the um, Seven of Swords. Um, I hear that you sort of, you, you took what you could and you sort of got away from a situation that wasn't good for you. Like you're sort of hanging on. I don't know if it's a good thing that you're hanging on so tightly to them. I'm not sure if you're hanging on to all the swords that you should be. You, you sort of left some behind too. So I'm not too sure if that's the way <clears throat> it's supposed to be. I don't know, guys. So let's let's get more on this read. So let's see what else has come up. The Queen of Wands. You may be dealing with somebody um, in your energy who is a fire sign that is a feminine fire sign, but, but a positive one. This is not a negative person. This is somebody who's very passionate, um, very um, warm and generous and loving, um, and very, um, independent, um, and very sort of like tries new things, like very, uh, just very, like everything beautiful and fiery, right? Um, sort of the life of the party. Um, so there has been an imbalance between you two. Okay. And I feel that this is what this is. There has been some sort of imbalance temperances in reverse. There's been some sort of, um, chaos. Maybe things have been stalled. Um, I, I think that things will just happen naturally. Look at this though, because you have the 10 of swords. Okay. And I'm not going to put that over there. I'm going to put this here because I think that this is connecting all of this. The 10 of swords is in reverse and this is about recovering. Okay. Um, it's about, <clears throat> it could also be reluctant at moving ahead through this cycle with this person. Um, I don't hear that this person necessarily has anything to do with the problem though, because they're in the upright, um, but they're affected by it. Okay. So we have the, I'm just going to pull out the next three. So we have the, uh, four of coins. Okay, so I feel like somebody's been sort of hiding something, um, holding on too tight to something, sort of stopping things from moving. 
okay? But then we have the nine of wands. I think that you're actually walking away from that emotion, okay? You're, um, you're protecting what's yours and you're standing your ground, but you're recovering. And I think that you, you need to release this. I think that you may be feeling like you need to protect yourself from something that you don't need to protect yourself from. Right. And I think that it's it you've had to grow and challenge yourself in your limiting beliefs. You've had to go back and see why these things look at these are like the four little things that you're protecting, right? And I don't know why you're doing it, but you've had to go back and see who put those thoughts there. Like you've had to do a lot of deeper healing with this. This is this co-creating because you want to co-create, but I feel like you're going through, you've been through so much emotional turmoil. The five of cups in reverse. <clears throat> you're moving on. This is, this is a beautiful card. You're moving on. <sighs> you're forgiving. You're recovering. Right, You may feel like sometimes you're not too sure if you want to move on because the thing is you get so comfortable with being here. But look at this. You have the nine of coins. And this is one of the most positive cards on the deck. This is your hard work paying off. Right? And about you pursuing uh, and being prosperous. Right? This is abundance and comfort. You're moving on. And I think that through all of this, you're just being told to breathe. That's where this is coming from. You just need to breathe. It's a really gorgeous energy, Aquarius. It really is. It's a lot going on. It's a lot, but you're doing you're doing what needs to be done. And you have this, this person that represents this queen of wands in your life. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but it's somebody who definitely has that energy and that passion and they're there right could be a friend could be a partner could be a sibling a parent a business partner okay one more shuffle and I'm taking from the top thank you okay I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid this discomfort so what you're going through like I said as you're pulling out these things that were placed in there that you keep hanging on to it's very uncomfortable but you're going through and growing and finding the deeper meaning through it and that's a beautiful space for you to be in okay Aquarius thank you so much for watching please do like and subscribe and I will see you in your next reading